Welcome back to Bible Shorts, Episode 26, The Parting of the Red Sea. Well, remember, in our last episode, Pharaoh and his chariot army had chased after the Israelites and had caught up to them where they were camped by the sea. And the people cried out to Moses and saying, What have you done to us by bringing us out of Egypt? Didn't we say to you, leave us alone? Let us serve the Egyptians? It would have been better for us to serve the Egyptians than to die in the desert. But Moses said to the people, do not be afraid. Stand firm and see the deliverance that the Lord will accomplish for you today. For the Egyptians whom you see today, you shall never see again. The Lord will fight for you and you have only to keep still. Then the Lord said to Moses, Why do you cry out to me? Tell the Israelites to go forward. You will lift up your staff and stretch out your hand over the sea and divide it, that the Israelites may go into the sea on dry ground. Then I will harden the hearts of the Egyptians so that they will go in after them. And so I will gain glory for myself over Pharaoh and all his army, his chariots and his chariot drivers. The pillar of cloud that had gone before the Israelites moved and went behind them and came between the army of Egypt and the Israelites. And the cloud was there with the darkness. And so one did not come near the other all night. Then Moses stretched out his hand over the sea. The Lord drove the sea back by a strong east wind all night and turned the sea into dry land. And the waters were divided and the sea was ripped in two. The sea was ripped in two. The Israelites went into the sea on dry ground the waters forming a wall for them on their right and on their left. And many artists have imagined what that could have looked like. The Egyptians pursued and went into the sea after them, all of Pharaoh's horses, chariots, and chariot drivers. The Lord, in the pillar of fire and cloud, looked down on the Egyptian army and threw them into a panic. He clogged their chariot wheels so that they turned with difficulty. Then the Lord said to Moses, Stretch out your hand over the sea, so that the water may come back upon the Egyptians, upon their chariots and chariot drivers. So Moses stretched out his hand over the sea, and the sea returned to its normal depth. And the Lord tossed the Egyptians and their chariots into the sea. Thus the Lord saved Israel that day from the Egyptians, and Israel saw the great work that the Lord had done. And then in the Bible text in Exodus is what some Bible scholars believe may be one of the very oldest parts of the Bible, and it's a poem that celebrates this event. It says, Then Moses and the Israelites sang this song to the Lord. I will sing to the Lord, for he has triumphed gloriously. Horse and rider he has thrown into the sea. The Lord is my strength and my might, and he has become my salvation. This is my God, and I will praise him. My Father's God, and I will exalt him. The Lord is a warrior, and the Lord is his name. Then Miriam, Moses and Aaron's sister, took a timbrel in her hand, and all the women followed her with timbrels and dancing, and Miriam sang, Sing to the Lord, for he is highly exalted. Both horse and rider he has hurled into the sea. You know, in the Old Testament, in the book of Psalms or the prophets, if the Exodus 
you know, the whole story of, of God leading the people out of Egypt is referred to. This is the part of the whole Exodus story that is usually mentioned, the crossing of the Red Sea. So why was this story told over and over again by the Israelites? Why was it celebrated in the books of the Old Testament? Later on, the Israelites are going to go through some terrible times. They're going, they're going to lose their country. They're going to be deported to a place called Babylon. They're going to think, wow, God has deserted us. But this story, this story helped remind them what their God was like, who their God was. Their God was a mighty God who did mighty deeds for his people, who cared for his people, who had power over nature and absolute control of history. And they had faith that he would act again to save them. But in the meantime, in this story, they're across the Red Sea. Now what are they going to do? You know, they've escaped from Pharaoh and his chariot warriors, and they're in the desert. And a couple days later, they've run out of water. What happens next? Look for Bible Shorts, Episode 27. Complaints, complaints, complaints. <laughs>